Today I am going to take three AI chatbots, ChatGPT, Google Gemini and Microsoft Copilot and find out which one is the best. Not as chatbot but as a voice assistant. Which AI is the most natural sounding? Which AI gives me the most accurate information? Which one can perform the most tasks? And which AI is my pick of all the three? Let's find out together. Okay, you should know my test setup before we start asking questions to each of them. I'm gonna compare the Google Gemini from Google. It's gonna be on the left. ChatGPT from OpenAI, that's gonna be in the middle. And the Copilot from Microsoft is gonna be on the right. All the three AIs have an app and all the three apps support chat and advanced voice mode. I'm going to be using my iPhone to compare all the three which means if you're using Android phones Google Gemini may have an edge there. Also I'm using the free version on all the three apps and this is going to make a big difference as you will see shortly. Finally all the three are getting better each day with software updates so by the time you see this video the results may be slightly different. Okay first let's set up the voice mode in all the three assistants and pick a voice which I like for each of them. Great. Let's get going. Here's one of the voices I have, but there's more to choose from. Swipe to give them a listen or just tap start to get chatting. Here's another voice I can use later in. Or maybe you'd like to listen to a voice like this. For example, here's another one and who loves cooking. Hey, it's great to meet you. I'm really looking forward to working. On Let's hi there. I just want to share. Hello. It's lovely to meet you. Let's explore. I can get philosophical, creative or poetic if you like. Okay, now that it's all set up, let's start the conversation with each of them and listen how well they can understand me and how natural their response is and how's the user experience. Hey, what are some good tourist places to visit near Seattle? There are a ton of great places to visit near Seattle. There's lots of amazing scenery not far from Seattle. Olympic National Park is known for its rainforest, mountains and beaches. Or, if you want to see some serious mountains, there are some fantastic places to check out near Seattle. If you love nature, Mount Rainier National Park is a must visit with its stunning views and trails. Seattle's got a lot to offer. Pike Place Market's a classic with its flying fish and all. Then there's the Space Needle, iconic views, especially on a clear day. For nature, hit up Discovery Park or hop on a ferry to the San Juan Islands. Okay, first thoughts. Google Gemini hears me and sounds amazing. It's super natural, great to listen to and my pick for the voice. ChatGPT is a close second. It's still very good, natural and non-robotic. But Gemini has a slight edge in terms of pauses and emphasis. Copilot is a distant third for me. It's super natural and not robotic at all. But my problem is it always sounds like it's in some meditation mode, always in a happy, bright, motivating tone and never in a casual tone. You will see this happen in the rest of the video as well. Next test. Hi, do you know my name? So far, we haven't connected your phone number to a specific name, so I can't say for sure. You can always just ask to be called by your name, and I'll remember for next time. My name is Anjana. All right, Anjana. I'll remember that for next time. Hi, do you remember my name? Okay, so I can't ask you for your name but I can help you out in other ways. Do you want to try setting or updating your profile? Hi, do you know my name? Hi. Yes, your name is Anjana. How can I help you today? Hi, do you know my name? Sure do, Anjana. Anything else on your mind? Okay, what's happening here? You see, ChatGPT knows and remembers everything you said to it in the previous chats, even if it's a text chat. But Gemini and Copilot does not remember the context from the previous chats in voice mode. Gemini will ask for all the information in voice mode, including your name, like it's talking to you for the first time. Copilot is similar to, it remembers only the current chat. The advantage of the ChatGPT way, it knows everything about me. Check it out. When is my trip to Europe? So I can't use your Google Calendar yet when we are live. For now, going live is great for things like chatting. When is my trip to Europe? Your trip to Europe is in January 2025. Are you getting excited for it? When is my trip to Europe? I can't check your trip details, but it's probably in your calendar or email. What's on your mind about your Europe trip? 
I have told Shah GPT a month ago that I am going to Europe in January. Now it not only knows but it can help me recollect, help me plan and take every other chat into account. Like I have a child, I like food exploration and it will plan the trip for me with those in mind. Now let's test how secure or rather how much private information does each AI know about me. First let's ask Google Gemini. Can you tell me which state I live in? So I can't directly access your location but I can help you figure it out. Do you use Apple or Google Maps a lot? Now let's try ChatGPT. Yes, you live in Washington state. How's everything going over there? ChatGPT knows because I have already told the information before. It's not accessing any location information here. Now Copilot. Listen to what Copilot says. Do you know which state I live in? Sorry, I can't talk about that. If you're interested in learning more about Microsoft's privacy documentation, you can find that online. It looks like Copilot doesn't access or know my location, right? Looks great, but it's gonna get sketchy soon. Check this out. How far is Seattle from my place? Seattle? Hmm, that should be about a half hour drive from where you are, give or take with traffic. Do you go there often? But you just said you don't know where I live. True, I don't know your exact location. But I do know you mentioned you're in Washington and we were talking about nearby cities. Seems like Copilot does know where I live, but it just won't discuss or expose the location in the conversation. It's really questionable with this type of behavior for me. Either give me the information like Gemini or do not have the access to my location. You will see more such discrepancy later. Now I'm going to test if they can work like a phone assistant. I'm going to ask for the current weather. Let's try Google Gemini first. How's the current weather at my place? In Snohomish County, it's 47 and cloudy. Today, there'll be showers with a high of 51 and a low of 40. Okay, pretty neat and responsive, right? I'm really happy with Google Gemini so far. Now let's try ChatGPT. I can't provide real-time weather updates, but you can easily check the current weather in your area using a weather app on your phone or by searching online. Now we start seeing the limitations of ChatGPT. ChatGPT, at least in the free and basic version, cannot access live data from the internet. Okay, fair enough. Now Copilot's turn. I don't have live weather info but I guess it's probably cool and rainy in Larchway, Washington this time of year. Wait, what? Did it just tell my location? I feel Copilot is not very transparent and straightforward about its privacy features. But overall, Google Gemini seems to be the more useful AI assistant here. At least as of now, Google Gemini is the only one that is connected to internet and pull the latest data, which gives it power to ask much more relevant questions like these. What is the current stock price of Tesla? Tesla closed down 1.1% today at $342.03. I can't provide current stock prices. You can check the latest price of Tesla stock on financial news websites, stock market apps, or through your brokerage platform. Yeah, hey, Anjana, how's the afternoon treating you? What is the current stock price of Tesla? I'm not able to provide current stock prices. Instead, I can share some general insights about Tesla if you're interested. What's your take on their market performance? One thing to know here, obviously Google Gemini was the only one which could give me the required information, but ChatGPT even in the free version can sometimes fetch the latest data from the internet. I've tried a few times and it did give me the latest stock price. I think what is happening here is, in the free version, the back-end ChatGPT model may change between ChatGPT 4.0 Turbo or 4.0 Mini. Depending on the model and my usage limit and the server traffic, it sometimes gives me the latest info while the other times it just gives me old data. Now, how well can you trust the info these AI assistants are giving you? Let's test them out. When is the next Olympics? The next Olympics are coming up in 2028 and they're happening in Los Angeles. How many days until then? Okay, so the 2028 20, Olympics are still a ways off. It looks like there are around 13, 32 days until they start. Okay, Gemini was accurate and reliable as usual. Now, ChatGPT. The next Olympics will be the Summer Olympics, scheduled to take place in Paris from July 26th to August 11th, 2024. Are you excited about the games? How many days until then? From today, November 20th, 2024, there are 248 days until the Paris Summer Olympics start on July 26th, 2024. Wait. 
but it's so inaccurate and honestly dumb to be honest. I understand that the data it's using is old, but when I ask it to count the days from today, it messed up even more horribly. What about Copilot? Do it for yourself. The next Summer Olympics will take place in Paris, France in 2024. Are you a fan or just curious? How many days until then? Let's count it out. It's November 20th today. So there's about eight months until the Olympics kick off in late July. The reason is Copilot uses the same ChatGPT model in the backend, so you will see similar results. Gemini seems to be winning this battle pretty easily, right? I asked Gemini to give me the latest news, current traffic info, retail stores information, and it was able to provide all of them pretty accurately and reliably. ChatGPT and Copilot just gave up. Okay, one final test. Can I use the AI assistance for live translation when I go to another country? I'm going to first ask something to translate into Hindi and then say something in Hindi to translate it to English. Let's see how each of them does. Can you translate it in Hindi? The weather today is very gloomy. I think it might rain today. Sure. Here's the translation. Okay, I think you're saying you want to plan a trip to Europe in January. Is that right? I am planning a Europe trip with my husband in January. That's wrong. August 13th ko hai. That means your birthday is on August 13th. All three of them did a good job. The co-pilots stumbled a bit, but I'll still give it a pass. So, I did a lot of testing offline. I interrupted the chatbot to update my question. I asked them to do specific tasks, use like a general chatbot, and here are my observations. Google Gemini, this is the best voice mode AI assistant as of today, in my opinion. It's supernatural. It understands me better. The info it provides is much more latest, more accurate, and more reliable. It's able to give me live infos like stocks, weather, and traffic data while the rest of them could not. Google Gemini also had the most access in the free version. The only downside for me with Gemini, it does not remember information and context from my previous chats. There is an upcoming feature in paid mode where it can remember some information for you. I'm sure it'll come to the free version soon as well. ChatGPT, it's the most balanced AI assistant for me. It does not have real-time information on traffic or weather. It may be inaccurate at times with respect to timeline and data, but it's still very natural and refined. ChatGPT would act like a real personal assistant, understand the context from previous chats and respond appropriately. ChatGPT started complaining very soon that I'm running out of limits or downgraded me to a lower model and it did everything else the other AI assistants did too. I would say if you want just a voice assistant for non-factual or non-real-time information, ChatGPT can work great for you. Copilot, on the other hand, needs a lot of work. The tone is too fake. It always tries to talk light and tries to steer the conversation towards something casual. It has inaccuracies and the privacy take, at least for me, is not implemented properly. Copilot has downsides of both Gemini and ChatGPT, while Gemini and ChatGPT has all the positives of Copilot. So, I don't see the need to use Copilot against the other two. Okay, that's everything for this video. I hope it was useful. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, click the bell icon for all the notifications. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.